Because my shoes are literal, 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 literal glass. Yeah, I mean my shoes are super slippery because they're ghetto and old school like me. What's up, everybody? It's Boy Man's Video for Now Never Crew, and in this video, we're going over my top ten list of knee drop variations. So these are from the easiest ones to more advanced ones, and my personal favorites. Let's get into it. Pa. I should probably start off with a basic one, but nah. We're not about that. So I'm gonna teach you guys one that I just showed my student the other day, and I was like, this is pretty fresh, people don't use this that often, that's your handstand knee drop. So for this one, basically you go up to a handstand in a knee drop position, in a hook, and then you're catching in a hook position. So basically all you're gonna do is go up to a handstand however you want it. In my opinion, it looks best when you're doing a rotated handstand. So a slightly inverted like this, boom, and then you drop down. So what I'd recommend doing is adding opposite rotations. So you're gonna rotate to one side and then you're gonna come down on the other side. So if you're gonna bring your right leg behind, like I'm going to, I'm gonna rotate to the left first and I'm gonna come down on my right. So again, going left, right. And you can drop in a full knee drop or you can just drop like this, going hit, catch. And that's the handstand knee drop. Number two, you have your thread knee drop. So for this one, I added two different variations for you guys just to give you kind of different variants, but there's literally so many. I just decided to go with these two because they're like my most go-to ones, and I figured they're the most that you guys can kind of build out of. So the first one we're going over is your simple knee thread, knee drop. One of my favorites. If you know my style, you know I use this one all the time. So all you're gonna do, hand to your knee, legs gonna do that bicycle motion coming up, and then go behind, and as it comes behind, you knee drop it. Boom, hit, boom, just like that, basic. So again, the way you make this look nice is by using your opposite weight change, front and back, front and back, it's all with that rock through. So you're leaning forwards to obviously do your thread, so as you knee drop, lean backwards. And that's the way you're gonna make it look fresh. Boom. Second one, your jump thread knee drop. If you have a jump thread, it's really easy. You just land and you hit a knee drop. <laughs> Pretty basic. So you go in, jump thread. Just make sure when you're landing, you rotate your hands upwards on top of your foot so you're not gonna catch on your hand or else that's gonna hurt. No one's gonna like that. So as you come down, make sure you transfer to top of your foot. So again, you just land it like this and then knee drop out of it. And then from there, you can literally do whatever you'd like. One more time, going jump thread, knee drop. Number three, one of my favorite ones, one I just came up with actually only a little while ago, and that's your swivel knee drop, but with a thread. I guess I should teach the swivel one first. Sorry, number three, your swivel knee drop, because that's gonna make a lot more sense afterwards before we learn how to thread it. So, all you do with this one is literally turning your hips, and you may say, that's not enough to make it a variation of <laughs> Hip feeling is always a variation, boy. So, all you're doing is rather than knee dropping basic, you're gonna use that foot and twist your hips as you drop. So then you're gonna be turning sideways as you drop. The biggest thing is don't go... <laughs> okay, make sure you disconnect your upper body and your lower body. So you wanna swivel on your toe as you're going down and making sure this foot is drawing that circle, that half circle to get to the back. Boom. Okay, that way it's gonna be clean. It's only gonna look clean when you add that actual power and so make sure you're using that foot to actually engage behind your leg to pull it to the side. Going, hit, boom, swivel knee drop. Now that you can do that, we're going to number four, I believe. Swivel knee drop with a thread. So this is again one of my favorite ones and you're basically gonna start here like you just did a jump thread. So we can even do the jump thread first if you'd like. So going, 
here, jump thread like this, right? Whichever foot's on the ground in your knee drop position, you're grabbing that basic one. Then you're gonna do similar swivel, but you're gonna keep your body with the thread, okay? So you're gonna swivel all the way over here. Then once you get here, you're gonna push upwards, bring your foot through, and knee drop, okay? So that's swivel without a disconnect of your lower body and the upper body. We're gonna disconnect it later. So again, you're here, going turn, bring your hand down, push yourself up, and thread through. Notice that I'm going up onto just like three of my fingers when I'm pulling through, because it's a really difficult position to thread into. If you can keep your full hand on it, great. If not, just keep at least a couple fingers on it so you're not breaking your thread. Don't break your thread. So once you can do that, all you have to do is do it without your hand on the ground now while rotating. I know, it's so easy, right? So you're basically gonna be going up and then dropping. As you can see, I can barely do it. Slow motion because, it's hard to balance, okay? Pretty simple. So the way I catch it is by adding that hip swivel like that in at the very end to make sure that I get my body around in time. So because I'm at a, this is a weird position and my weight's down here, but I'm trying to land over there, I have to actually swivel my hips to help myself get there. So again, going boom, notice that? So I'm looking at the back by the time I land here, right? Because I'm using my knees to get myself around so that I have a base to come down on. Because if you don't swivel first, then you don't have anything to come down and you fall on your side. So again, going, last time, pay attention. Here, up, once you get to here, Butts behind, swivel to the front. Boom. So, next thing we're gonna do is your power fakey wind up droppy thing. So, basically, what you're gonna do, very simple, go to your power wind up, but you're gonna kick right to your hook, like this, yeah? So, you're hooking, boom, into your knee drop, and then you're just gonna drag it to the front. Drag, then knee drop at the front. So, make sure you have shoes that are somewhat slippery, so you can actually slide. Or else, you're not gonna go very far. Alternatively, if only the tops of your shoes are slippery, you can always go like this too. Boom, and then drop. So if you wanna put your toes on the top of your foot, that's the way you can kinda of get around if you've got sticky bottoms. So you're going here, slide, hit, yeah? And that's all it is. Now just add a little bit of power and you're gonna get the step. Boom, Power Master 2019, thanks Magneto, woo! -hoo! Also, that's an option. If you want to go into toe, you can add a little spin to the end. Do it as you, as you will. That's it. Next one, your pinball. This is one I just kind of taught my student recently as well. And I realize it's pretty fresh and I don't know that many, that many people play with the concept. But basically, you're doing a pinball style or a triangle, you could even call it too, of going boom, 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 boom. Just like if you ever play pinball and you got the ball going back and forth, that's kind of the idea. And that's to hit a back, back, back as you're coming down like this, okay? So I'm gonna start off by bringing my leg behind my foot and I'm gonna pull it to the side, boom, just like this, yeah? Then I'm gonna step this foot down to the back. This front leg's gonna hit my figure four position. Then it's gonna come down and I'm gonna hit a low hook or like knee drop middle right here and then that's gonna prep to drop at the end. So I'm hitting one, two, three, four, going down gradually. So again, stepping left, Hooking right, boom. Then I'm hitting behind, up. Then I'm hitting low. Then I'm hitting down, just like that. Okay, so the biggest thing for this is make sure your hips are twisting in the direction that you're going, and then you're leaning in the direction that you're going. And then also make sure that you're keeping the illusion. So by illusion, I mean make sure this foot is pulling this one. Then as you're going down, the, your feet are staying nice and tight together, or your legs, I should say. Hear that? You want to hear that in your pants. As you jump onto it, you bring the leg up. Don't bring it up early, or else it loses the illusion. Then as you go down, same thing. You're going down on your leg, and you're hitting that. Then at the end, just twist it to the ground, okay? That's the biggest key points. Now let's actually try it with a little bit of speed. Going, hit, 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 hit. Next one, we have your basic sliding knee drop or iconic Casper knee drop because you know he kills this one all dang day. So basically what you're doing is again, it's similar to this one, except you go up from standing and you're really full sending it. 
So this would be more of like a reply to somebody or however you want to do it. So all you're doing, this time you're sliding on the top of your toe, like an ice skater, and you're going to be jumping, boom, into your knee drop like that. So make sure the top of your foot is guiding that descent to the ground, or else it's going to end with blood, sweat, and tears. And we just want to end with sweat, tears, and like maybe just a little bit of blood. So going again, this time really kick the back of your leg to send it and make sure you're dragging that front foot going. Zoom, hit, yeah? And notice that I'm leaning back with my upper body and bringing my arms behind me so that I counterbalance the momentum going forwards and I stay controlled. So one more time, because it's pretty simple. You just gotta go for it, going, hit. Okay, doke, last two. First one we're gonna go over is a jump. Knee drop. So there's many ways to do this. You can literally just like go catch like that. Some people do it like that. I don't per personally like that. I like to do something else in the air because I just find it basic and unless you're gonna like really full send it, it doesn't look that great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do your basic dancer like, hey, cross in front. And then on the top of it, I'm gonna uncross and go behind my legs. So first the jump, cross your legs and then bring your front leg up here and your back leg up here. So you want to pull them like someone's breaking your legs in each direction, feels great. Go like this, hit, ah! Don't knee yourself like that. So a little bit further apart, this time going hit, down. So notice I'm flicking up, flicking up. Then as I'm coming down, I'm going to be hitting basic knee drop. So whichever leg's in front is going to go behind to your knee drop. Like this, going up, knee drop, yeah? But as you do it higher, and you go fast and try to land both your feet basically at the same time or else it's going to look really basic and you want to have more of that blow up impact. So going here, hitting, boom, hit, yeah? One more time, going three, two, one, hit, boom, boom, ha. Hi, it's the next day. Um, I only did nine knee drop variations because I guess I'm going insane or I just can't do quick mass. It was a hummingbird outside. So because I messed up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys like four quick ones right now, just to give you guys an idea of how to kind of create other ones. So first one, you're gonna go flying two steps, you're gonna go kick, up, and then knee drop. And then spin out of it, and don't hit a wall because you're in socks. So you're going kick, up, hit. Second one, you're gonna do two step, kick, hit, and up. Two step, kick, hit, and up. Third one, you're just gonna go Thread, knee drop up. Again, thread, knee drop up. Fallen. Socks are not great for breaking, but I'm too lazy to put on my shoes. Fourth one, you're gonna go knee thread, and then you're gonna take it, hit, hit, again. So watching, one more time, you're gonna go knee thread, behind, hit, up, behind, hit. There you go. Last one, everyone. Keeping your basic one for last, corkscrew. If you don't have this, you should have this, because it's one of the, and probably my favorite, uh, go downs for knee drop and variations, and that's probably due to Casper's influence and my crews, but corkscrew is just so powerful, and all it requires is a big, strong whip, boy. So I'm gonna go over my left shoulder, so that means I'm gonna be leaning onto my right toe, left heel, then I'm rotating to the side, then just for now, come down to your squat. So heel touching your back foot, then your front foot. Almost like if you've got a fork and spaghetti. This is your fork, this is your spaghetti, and just twist it inside. Hit, like that. So you're up here, get your fork, stab your leg, rotate, pull yourself down, spaghetti turn in, like that, yeah? So again, go and twist, like this, twist, coming down, spaghetti turn in, zoom. Hit. Now, all you gotta do is add a little bit of power to that and don't break up the section. So don't go one, two, three. Instead, you're going from here and you're gonna do them all as quick as you can, yeah? Now, as far as catching it, make sure you're just throwing your body wherever you wanna land. So if you wanna land, both hands in front, then throw your weight to the front. If you wanna land to the side, throw it to the side. Side, if you don't want to go anywhere, keep your weight right on top of you. Then all you have to do is put power into it and you get the step. Going here, spin, hit. And that's the corkscrew. Okay, everybody, it's burning up in here. Your boy is hot and heavy. Gotta go eat, gotta go teach. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please comment down below. Tell me what you'd like to see next. Like the video, subscribe, smash the bell button for more videos. Brrr.
Ah! Before you go, if you're not completely sick of my face already, don't forget to get my free course, Breaking Made Simple. To access the course, all you have to do is go to the link down below. To get the free download, all you have to do is join the Facebook group, Breaking Made Simple, which is a hub for people to learn, grow, and just get better and become the best b-boys they possibly can, man.